You're now watching a clip from the Inspired by show. You can watch the full episode on our YouTube channel or listen on iTunes, Spotify, or wherever you get your podcasts. So make sure to head over there, leave us a five-star rating if you enjoyed it, and follow the show. Do you know how a narcissist, do you know what a narcissist do to you? The way that they they eat your mind. Mm. Um, another thing I saw on the internet that's really interesting because I actually just wrote in a whole album about this. Um, as I sing, it's going to be my new album. It's all going to be about this relationship I've been through and all this, wow. this tormentor I've been through. But basically, a narcissist, they act like a drug inside of you. So they give you a lot, boost you with dopamine, which is the love bombing phase. Oh, you're amazing. You're incredible. You're the hottest. I don't look at anyone. I'm following all the girls. Don't care. It's just you, you, you. Gifts, chocolates, expensive dinners. I don't know, going out to Paris together, all of this, you know what I mean? It goes, 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 and it's out of the blue. And when they see you are in, they take it out. They take it completely off you. And then you're like, where is this dopamine that I was feeling? Where is all of this? Wait, hold on. Where, where is it? Where, what, what? And then your body just craves for that again because you start going down and your body is chemically desperate to get it back. Where is the source of it? Oh, it's him. And then you are clingy and needy and you're his mm. and he possesses you. And there is a whole cycle that goes up and down on this forever mm. till you can break it. But sometimes you can't even break it. Mm. Yeah. That's why I'm writing the, the album that I am writing. I'm finishing now. We are in the last two songs um, because I'm going to tell the whole trajectory so I can make more people aware in a, in a light way because it's a very heavy subject to talk about. So mm. I will bring my art to kind of try to show people how to get out of this whole situation of going in the relationship with a narcissist and then getting out of it wow. to a point that you can be standing on your feet again and being capable of being in another relationship, you know, happy, healthy and doing other stuff. Mm. So, Wow. That's so inspiring. Thank you so much. First of all, feeling open enough to bring it here because I know that. <laughs> that's I know it's not always. Talking about it. Wow. I know it's not always easy to bring such personal things, but I think yeah. it's so beautiful that you're using that into your music now to help other people. I think I've never personally experienced a narcissistic romantic relationship. I have experienced multiple narcissistic professional relationships wow. where it's the same thing. You don't really look for it. And I think the hardest part of being around narcissists is that a lot of the time you don't know that you're being love bombed. You don't know that you're being like going through gaslighting. You don't know any of that. And what I experienced is that similar to you mentioned before, you know, that person's telling you you're not good enough, but then everybody outside of that relationship, whatever type of relationship is telling you how great you are. So you're like, you get all the strength back outside of the room and you're like, actually, I am great. I am strong. And then you go with that energy into the narcissistic person. And then they're like, no, no, you're not smack bang down again and it's kind of that constant seesaw of oh it's horrible am i great am i not great am i great am i not great and what mood are they going to be in well how how am I, what reaction am i going to get and it, it it can become such a whirlwind for people like us like you said very strong independent people attract them more and so you kind of almost feel so uncertain because we're strong and independent we know how to fix things we know how to do things we're we're independent oh, and so they want to like, take it away from us exactly they 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 need to put us in an inv inv invalid position. It's like, mm. why is she so incredible? Why she can do so many things? Why is she so outspoken, so fierce, and so part? No, 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 no. Bitch, you're not. Do you know what I mean? Let me get it out of you because I'm gonna feel the thrill of my life putting you laying on the floor. Do you mm. know what I mean? That that's that's how they feel. I feel sorry for them. Mm. I'm not saying this to look good on camera. I feel sorry for yeah, them because narcissists, they actually come from such a background of trauma and, and mm. devalidation and rejection that they just become this thing where they create a fantasy that they are the center of everything that is out there existent. Mm. And um, if they see something that shines more than them, they need to, they need to tone it down. No, no, tone it down. Mm. It's quite sad because I feel really one of the things that give me pleasure the most, apart from eating, so I love food, <laughs> is actually helping people. I just have a massive rush of endo endorphin when I have it. That's why I, I write my songs, you know, with so many quite interesting and, and, and um, complicated subjects, you know, because I try to bring it to a light side because mm -hmm. my music's pop. 
So instead of talking about put your bottles up and let's twerk, which I have a lot of other amazing artists already doing, <laughs> I'll leave it to them. I try to bring this weird, you know, um, sens sensitive, dark things to the light mm. side of things. So people can kind of realize and say, oh, hold on. For example, I have a song called Lucy. It's my song that's going to come out in a couple of weeks. And it's my first uh, song of this album. And Lucy, it's a song that talks about the narcissist. And it's a very light, poppy, strong, fierce, kind of irreverent song. Like, I love it because I start the song saying, I'm blessed with your darkness and I'm tempted, lost in your eyes. I'm screaming louder and louder, babe, I'm losing my mind. Sunday to Sunday, I'm praying to leave this behind, but all my scenes are my emotions. So get me out of here. And then I, I change from this desperation to say to him, oh yeah, cry, cry. I love the way you make me cry. I make you cry while I'm just sing sitting in the back seat seeing you crash your life. So misery is here saying hi for you, babe. And it's all my fault. So she's saying, you're in misery now because you can't have me. I'm out. Mm. But look what you did for me. Like it's a whole process. So it's a very fun way, light way to show the process of how it is to be completely destroyed by a narcissist person that could actually end with your life to try to illuminate people. So they're like, oh wait, I feel like this to be fair. That, that sounds my, like my boyfriend. Mm. People tend to listen to things more when it's light. Definitely. If I look at you and say, look, I saw your boyfriend treating you. He's been abusive to you. I think you're in a narcissistic, like abusive relationship. You're going to block and say, oh, I'm going to Sunday roast now. Bye, love. Speak later. Because that's how it is. So that's yeah. why I'm trying to kind of, you know, wow. share all of this in a nice way. Hopefully it works. <laughs> it's so beautiful, though. I and mean, that's exactly the point, though. When people are listening, they're more likely to listen and go, hold on. Those two, three things... I, and they might even be singing them because they'll be listening to the song and then they'll be like, actually, I have that. You yeah, know? That's my boyfriend. That's my girlfriend. Mm -hmm. Girls, yeah. let's make or it any, very clear. Any relationship, yeah. doesn't matter gender. Yeah. There's a lot of girls that do the same with boys. Yeah. I know stories. So, yeah. 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 